Street. Here it is, all finished up. The enclosure for two SCAR ZVX-12s. It's a fourth order. I'll post some pictures of the vehicle that it's going in. It's a really awesome show vehicle. I did a video, I did a part one of this uh, as me building the enclosure, but honestly, I just don't have the time to kind of set up the camera, every move I make, everything I'm doing. I really, I just don't have the time. So I'm gonna be doing videos as I have been doing with the style of finishing the enclosure showing it off to you guys and then going from there uh, I will be doing some stuff where I'm going to be videoing as I'm going through the steps but it'll mainly be me taking pauses as I'm going and uh, kind of explaining what I am doing throughout that step or possibly giving a tip or so I really don't have time right now and I am also limited on resources for cameras to record you know multiple angles and stuff like that it just really slows me down way too much so either way here's the enclosure it's all finished up let me know what you guys think of it post a comment like the video subscribe to my channel let me know what you guys think of this enclosure Right, guys a couple more things I wanted to go over because I figure there will be some questions about this to load the woofers and also this will be a good note for the customer I'll probably send them this link to this video so you guys will get a little extra information um, this enclosure to load the subs remove the top the whole top is removable as one piece and these bolts right here are two two inch bolts which can be taken off with a 7 16 inch uh, impact. They're held in there with nut certs, so obviously don't over crank something. Don't try to uh, impact it off directly. I would always hand loosen it to get it started and then impact it off and also on. I would impact it on. Uh, always kind of hand tighten it first to get the thread started. You don't want to strip anything out. This is a key for almost any bolt, I would say, is always hand start it first, never start it with the impact. Bolt terminals in the back, you got four there. You're gonna use two for the left sub, two for the right sub. Obviously, you're gonna jump the uh, coil on, one coil on each sub, rather, so you only have two wires going out to go to the back. The uh, LEDs are RGBs. They're controlled by two controllers. With this one, only because I'm using a RGB controller and also a RGB amplifier, so it will be brighter, um, less strain on the RGB controller. The RGB controllers are really only meant to run so much. I would say probably a roll at max. This here has about two rolls on it. It's a lot of feet just for one enclosure, so I wanted to make sure that they can put this in and install it, especially if they're going to be trimming it into the vehicle. I want to make sure this is something that they can tuck away that control box. I don't have to worry about it being overstressed, overheated, trying to run too many LEDs. Uh, let's see. Subs mounted. Me, personally, I mount my subs with normal screws. I tend to find that baffle flex is what's going to make screws snap. I don't care how heavy your sub is. Um, well, let's put a disclaimer. There's extreme situations, but normally, I don't care how heavy your sub is. A normal screw will work with mounting a sub as long as the baffle is not vibrating or flexing. That's what's going to cause you to break screws. So normally, well, not normally because I don't have baskets. I'm starting to build a stack of baskets over there. Thank you, Dave Lee, for sending me those. Uh, starting to build a stack of baskets so I can actually start T-nutting. Uh, the baffles for people that mount the subs in 
I don't want to do that now because if I don't have a basket for it, I can't. I can't really feel too comfortable with being accurate with the measurement, so I just leave that part for the customer to handle. Always pre-drill your holes, always go into the screws, or sorry, always use the same screws. Uh, if you got to unmount a sub, which on this really you should never have to unmount a sub, but if you do, try to always use the same holes. If your holes ever get stripped out, toothpicks, stick them in there, break them off, awesome. Works great every time. All right, here's the LED RGB controller and amplifier. This is the controller. This is the amplifier. This is just um, a normal RGB controller that I bought off of Amazon. I've, and also same thing with this amplifier as well. Amazon, eBay, Google, uh, wherever else you can buy LED parts. Um, I really haven't found that any particular thing is better than one another. I try to stay away from the super cheap stuff only because you get what you pay for every time with anything, any product, no matter what it is, you get what you pay for. Nine times out of 10, if it's cheap, there's a reason. Not saying that the intentions were bad in the creation of the product, but maybe they just choose some uh, cheaper components to offer it to people for cheaper. So these work awesomely. They're mid-range, I think around 20 bucks. You can get the controller and the LEDs as a package. This has two rolls, that's why I'm again using the LED amplifier because I want to make sure that the LEDs are consistently bright all the way through. Sometimes if you don't use an amplifier, it can be brighter at the start of your LEDs than say it is at the finish of your LEDs. So using a controller and an amplifier, make sure that they are bright the whole time. So here we go, simple setup. Just uh, some four wire coming out of both the seal chamber and the porta chamber sealed on the inside of both of them and the outsides as well you can't see the bottom one right now obviously i'm demonstrating it but yeah simple leds not super expensive they last a long time i've never had a set really burn out on me last a long time they work great easy to install just really kind of take your time that's the biggest thing that is number one tip for anyone doing anything take your time try your hardest and really it should come out the right way because I, I do this I, I, I sucked with soldering before I started doing these LEDs I had no clue what I was doing when I came to soldering but I took my time watched some YouTube videos watched some people Steve at the shop watched him solder a bunch of things I mean it kind of uh, just watch and learn see what happens so practice 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 let me know what you guys think guys let me know if you have any questions about the LEDs the amplifiers controllers whatever drop a comment below as always I love your comments I love answering all your questions let me know Alright, so as always guys, let me know what you think. Really happy with the way this turned out. This thing looks awesome. The LEDs are super bright, the paint is super glossy, the stain looks awesome. Um, the outside is not intended to be seen actually on the outside perimeter, like these sidewalls here and stuff like that. You actually aren't going to see that in the end because it's going to be trimmed off with the trunk. The guy has a guy custom interior, so when they were mentioning to me about building it, I suggested maybe just going with something basic on the outside, but trimming it up so all you see is the the top of the enclosure and the plexiglass i mean either way it's gonna look awesome i did want to do like a nice finish and i did gloss it it looks really nice you can just put it in there just like that so if you do it, it's gonna look just as awesome as if you trim it off but trimming it off might look a little more finished so either way this is going to be an awesome project i really wish i was uh closer to this guy i could see it in person hopefully i catch it at a show one day if i'm ever uh available out of the shop if i get any time that is so here's the enclosure guys let me know what you think drop a comment subscribe to my channel i'm definitely working harder make make sure i post more videos post more updates on builds I'm trying to get 2020 rolling good so here you guys go 
Let me know what you think.